for the last few weeks and months, actually there hasn't been very much going on. And then suddenly business has picked up and we are supplying more than we normally do to our customers, much more than we normally do. Let's say, for example, we would milk, might send half a ton of soap. We're now sending five tons of soap, which for a small company like that, uh, us, is a lot. It just makes the whole production planning much harder. We can only produce a certain amount a day. Our maximum capacity is one ton a day. It, we can't scale up suddenly from a half a ton to a five tons or something like that. It's just not possible. And it's not just us, it's all sort of slower moving consumer goods have suddenly become increasingly popular, like canned food and toilet roll and all these sorts of things. And certainly in terms of soap, I think it is important for controlling the virus to wash as much as possible, wash hands and so on. So that's a good thing. Interestingly, the trend in the market over the last few years has been away from soap. People have been using more liquid soap and shower gels and things like that. So moving back towards soap, soap is a really good product for this sort of situation. What will happen, of course, is that everybody will be stocking up on soap, which you really don't need to do. I mean, a soap bar lasts for weeks. Um, so it's not going to suddenly, we're not going to suddenly stop making soap. Uh, there will be enough supply in the supply chain. All the indications are eventually things will calm down. So uh, you know, our expectation is that we will be busy and then be quiet. We've got a very robust supply chain in this, in this country. It's incredible, actually. The envy of the world. You know, the supermarkets have always got stock on their shelves. You know, it's, it's an extraordinary system and it's very complicated, but it all works. So there's no reason for people to go crazy.